I just turned this quick mock-up into a website that I can actually share with other people. I just turned... <laughs> I just turned this quick mock-up into this website that I can actually share with other people on a permanent link in like two minutes and I'm going to show you how using ChatGPT 4.0 and Gemini 2.5. You could just Gemini 2.0 as well. So we have here this image. It's just a quick mock-up that I had literally drawn on my notepad, as you can see here, um, of essentially link tree, right? So it's basically you, you add that as a link and then you have all your websites on it or all your products or whatever. So I first go to ChatGPT and I paste in the image. I select paste uh, create image from here. And then I say, here's a mock-up of a social media links website that I want to make. Can you please design it? And it designs this here, which is actually really good. I must have killed the connection. <laughs> uh, but it's actually a really good picture here. And as you can see, all the text is perfect. And all the icons as well is really cool. Now, the reason this is so good is because I actually asked Gemini to do the exact same thing. And this is what it came up with because Gemini 2.0 can actually create images. So currently we're on 2.5, but 2.0 can create images like this, which aren't very good as you can see. And that's why everyone is freaking out about how good 4.0 is because traditionally AI adds fingers to people. <laughs> it can't get text correct, etc. but this can. So we've got this image. We then download it or you can literally just copy image. Come on over to gemini.google.com. I paste the image in and simply say, create a single page HTML website of this image and make it dynamic, slick and modern. Now the first try here, I actually messed it up. So then I said, try again, which is because it's experimental, doesn't get it right every time. Try again, and then it changes it to use Tailwind, etc., etc., And it creates a single page here, which is actually really cool. And if I click on share canvas, this will then create a link that I could then copy and open it up somewhere else. So I can actually share this with other people. So the way you get, say, Linktree in your description of your YouTube, so often people will have it like in here, instead of that, we can actually just give them this link and it will be completely free. But the one thing we would have to do here is change these logos and websites, etc. Now, the problem with Gemini 2.5 is that to do this, um, you only get a set number that you can use per day, right? And it is good coder, but like you might run out if you're trying to go back and forth here to say, add this website, uh, change this to my school community or whatever, right? Speaking of school community, we have a school community, Applied AI, we just had our call today, which was really good. Um, but essentially, if you have a dream of something you want to build or you want to ride this AI wave, then come here and we will teach you everything from the ground up to learn how to build AI products and AI solutions. So that's a quick elevator pitch. Anyway, back to this stuff. So we have this website here. Now we could go back and forward and try to modify this, but one problem that you kind of do have is that it's a single page HTML. Now you can't ask for more inside Canvas here and you'd have to copy paste code. And this is where something like Roo code can come in handy. So don't panic here if you've never coded before. You could, if you really, really wanted to, you could go back and forward here, asking it to change this, change this, change this. You can even change the model to something else, something where you get more, so like 2.0 flash, and then you can just paste that in here in the HTML and ask it to change stuff. For reference, whilst we're on 2.0 flash, 2.0 is actually really good. So this is the website that 2.0 made, which I thought was the best one out of them all. Um, and the reason, by the way, if you're wondering, because I was wondering, kind of, as I was doing this, I was like, couldn't I just ask ChatGPT anyway to do it? But if you ask ChatGPT to do it anyway, you can see that it's just this proper ugly website. And um, here's another kind of ugly website. Um, and then another ugly one, and another ugly one. These are from Gemini. Um, and that's the perfect one from Gemini. But something that was cool, just side tangent on ChatGPT, is because it knows me, and I've talked to it about my stuff it didn't get my school community but it did get youtube so the youtube link actually works it goes to me which is cool um, and the linkedin link actually works it goes to me which is cool too um and as you can see whoops cloud in the eye uh, educator build on creator and my name so that was pretty cool too and it got the dynamic background stuff and the plus as well which is pretty cool though it doesn't do anything 
But if you want to change this from a single page into like a full project, this is where you can use something like Roo Code. So, how do we do that? Well, I have, if you literally have no idea, I do have a full video talking about Roo Code here, and I do have information on it in the school community. You could also just Google it, YouTube it. But roughly, what you can do is download VS Code. Again, all this stuff is inside the school community, or free on the internet. But you go into VS Code, download it here, and then we want to get the Roo Code extension. Inside the Roo Code extension, if we open up Settings, you can select Gemini as a model um, with the Open Router API key. Now here, I suggest the first thing you do is actually not use Gemini, but instead use something like DeepSeek, right? DeepSeek Free, and then you can use that DeepSeek Free. Let me just discard changes to create a basic Next.js application. So if I scroll up here, let me see, done, discard changes, is it not going to work? If I scroll right up to the top, does it tell me? Um, yeah, so create a simple Next.js application just the bare bones, because I just want the bare bones of a, of a full um, stack application, because I may want to link this up to a database or whatever, if I'm going to say try and turn this into a SaaS, more than just for me. So then after I've created the bare bones project, I then go back to settings and change this to Gemini 2.5 because again, you don't have unlimited, the, you, there is a, a max you can use. So 2.5 um, and then if we done that, I then write, I have attached a file, this is a social media links app, please make this app and I simply attach the image as you can see here from ChatGPT 4.0. And then it goes away and it tries to create the website. Now, the one thing I did notice here, and again, it's probably because it's experimental, is that the application that I actually created, so let me run this again. Um, the application that it created was pretty rubbish. So if we open this up, uh, this here. So as you can see, that compared to say this, this was 2.0 and this is 2.5. I don't know what's going on here. But what you could do is if you get the code for this HTML, which you could get because, I mean, I've downloaded it, but from, I was using Google AI Studio, that's how I accidentally was on 2.0. Um, but it gives you the code here, and you can just copy that, paste it in here, and say, here's the code. Um, and the cool thing about this one now is that we could go back and forward using whatever model we want. So we use 2.5 for the images because 2.5 is like the best model essentially on the market for image recognition. So, um, like OCR and stuff like that. Now, if we go to settings here, after we've created this bare bones one, um, and then we've filled it out to be like the image, we can then change this back to something like DeepSeek um, R1. Or, instead of Open router, we could do something else, like, um, you know, you could just do, 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 open AI or something. And then you could go back and forward. And as you go back and forward, you could then say, you know, change the name to look j bomb and the first link to youtube.com forward slash at data look and then if we send that in this will then start to code in here and it will make the relevant changes and from this you then have your application the only difference now would be that this won't be hosted on some um, gemini website such as Da, 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 da. When we were in Canvas here, open that, we could share this, it won't be hosted like that, so you would have to host it yourself, but there are a variety of hosting options, um, if that's something you want to know more about, do let me know, because i uh, happy to make videos about that, because I am a cloud consultant by day, so let's see actually if this has made the changes, so that's localhost 3000, again if you don't really know much about like what is localhost, what is 3000, um, you could Google it, but that is what I talk about on the school community. And as you can see, it's changed my name and YouTube channel here, which links to my YouTube channel. So yeah, super cool stuff. Just shows you how powerful it is that you can go from literally something, well, I'll go to the good version. Um, just shows you how cool it is that you can go from something as rubbish as this to this application and, you know, realistically like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Um, especially as a prototype, is super cool. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and check out school. Free trial, then it's $27 a month, which is reduced rate 
for the first 25 members. We're at like 15, so getting soon.